Hey everybody, welcome back to the P's and Q's of Letterpress. Today I'm here with the Heidelberg Windmill and we're going to talk about running two of the grippers. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, let's talk about running to the grippers a little bit in detail. Uh, there are three things you need to consider. Number one is speed, number two is quality, and number three is going to be uh, the precision. Uh, when it comes to speed, you can run it very quickly. You can run jobs really fast uh, and you can set them up really easily. Um, when it comes to uh, quality, um, you're going to get approximately the same quality print in terms of cleanliness that you'll get by running to the guides as you would to the gripper. Lastly, precision. Uh, unfortunately, when it comes to precision, gripper is not the best. Um, you're going to typically end up with some form of a bounce between a sixteenth of an inch to maybe a thirty-second of an inch. Uh, it really just kind of depends on how much play you're going to have in your gripper and your overall setup on the feed side. First, let's go ahead and locate the gripper cam adjuster, which is going to be behind the rotating assembly of the windmill blades. You'll unscrew the set screw and then drop the cam down out of the way into the without gauges position. Then go ahead and lock that set screw down for safety. Next, locate the bottom guide bar lockout and disengage by lifting the knurled knob and giving it approximately a half turn. In doing so, you're no longer going to run the sheet to the guide, but instead to the center mark on your chase. So don't forget to align your artwork accordingly. Lastly, we adjust the feed table. Install your sheets and your side guides so that first you're centered on the table, then you're centered on the sheet, and finally centered against the fence. So that's it. Adjust your grippers, adjust your guides, adjust your feed table, and you'll be off to the races printing in commercial mode in no time. Um, hopefully, if you're not already using commercial mode at your shop, you'll give it a chance or at least maybe try practicing. Um, I hope you found the video informational. Feel free to add comments, feel free to subscribe or hit the notification button. Uh, thanks and we'll see you soon.